All right, I'd like to introduce you all to the Aquator, especially the high sec fit that I use. This is my main transport that I use in high sec, especially for high dollar items or uh, high values, high, high ISK value items. And so right now I've just got some uh, blueprints in it, but uh, some, of the, some of the points of this are, this is a deep space transport. It has an outrageous amount of EHP when it's uh, done right. And it has in its fleet hangar 62,500 cubic meters of space in it. And that's a lot. So now, of course, a freighter is much more, but a freighter is slow. This is much quicker. You can carry higher uh, values in this without getting ganked. And uh, this is what the hauling industry uses. They use the deep space transports as their primary things that they haul stuff around in. Uh, most of the time, if you're hauling for uh, fun and profit, uh, the, the amounts are gonna be 60,000 cubic meters and below. So now this, uh, this fit is specialized for high sec. There will be a different fit for uh, low sec or for null. And this one is highly specialized for this. And I'll explain everything that we've got here. So the first thing is, is that we've got all of these uh, hardeners here. And this is to get the really high EHP, which is needed for when you warp through a gate and you get there and everything that's around you is red flashy or orange or whatnot. And you're like, holy shit because that is that kind of moment. And so what you do in that instance is, well, let me undock and show you. And um, what you do in that instance is you, we're gonna pretend that this is a gate here, is that you will, um, <clears throat> you'll fire off this, Fire off all of these. Yes, overheat. And then we're gonna jump. And then we're gonna change course as we uh, cloak there. And we've got an enormous amount of EHP going on as long as we're overheated, which uh, we should be. I clicked my overheat. Oh, they're all set to just one time. Oh, I guess you gotta make sure that it's not set to just one time. That's a problem. Oh, it, I know why, because I cloaked. So anyway, all right. So I'm cloaked now. I, you know, if that were the gate down there, I'm 100K away and I just cruise off into wherever either by aligning and then uncloaking and warping off or waiting for them to go away or Concord take them out. All right, so now this fit, let's go into simulation here. And in the simulation here, if we overheat all of these, like uh, what I attempted to do, and part of why I overheated all of them uh, and start even though I cloaked was because they may stop me from cloaking and I'll want all that stuff on. So 449,000 DHP on, on this ship. That is an enormous amount. This has bonuses to, um, this has bonuses to armor resistances, but then also has a 100% bonus to the benefits of overheating afterburners, micro warp drives, local repair modules, and resistance modules. These are resistance modules. So a plus it has plus two warp core strength, which will make it harder for them to tackle you. And uh, so you can go for, if you have thermal dynamics uh, high, then you can actually go for quite a while in this. All right. We're gonna get out of this simulation. This is, by the way, my recommended fit. Oh, and it's kind of expensive. It's kind of expensive. So it is 1.1 billion, but to me, it's totally worth it. So we're gonna go jump over to uh, another spot here. And I'm gonna show you one last little trick here on this ship, which is the propulsion trick to get you into warp in 10 seconds instead of the 17.78 seconds that it has here. So to do that, 
Once we get through the gate, I'm going to tell it to uh, warp. And then I am going to turn on my propulsion for one cycle only. The cycle's at 10 seconds. At 10 seconds, it shuts off. It is at the optimal speed for going into warp, and so it will go into warp early. And um, so now there's some differences for this for fits for uh, low sec and null. Both of those, uh, it's lower EHP and it's afterburners, and it's because you need to, and, and uh, armor reps, because you need to maintain your stability while getting back to the gate. Whereas this, you just have to survive a gank until Concord arrives. So, now, I am aligned, I'm not aligned, but here's my next system. I hit warp, I turn on the propulsion once for one revolution. As soon as that revolution is done, I will go to warp here. So, anyway, there you have it. All right, don't be fooled by the cargo amount, it says, because it's not the cargo hold that you use. It is the, uh, is it fleet hanger? Wait, that's the wrong thing there. It is, yes, fleet hanger, and uh, that's where you get all of your space in, and you can dump anything in there you want. So, all right, hope that helps. This is the best DST in my opinion, but um, it's up to you. You can... Uh, use any one of them, any one of the race lines.